A motion requesting Nampawa and Namwata to write off local authorities' debts was tabled by LPM. In his contribution, Swartboy says the current economic hardship is making it difficult for local authorities to settle their debts with Nampawa. The LPM leader stated that increasing electricity tariffs, as approved by the Electricity Control Board, does not match with the economic realities. The argument is times are difficult. We are all in this boat. Nampawa's balance sheet is strong to absorb a write-off. And we can discuss the models in which this write-off, which is actually a stimulus package, can be done. Yes. All of us must bear the brunt of a write-off, including Nempow. He further commended that if government could have implemented a decision to cancel all colonial electricity debts in 2002, things could have been better. In his contribution, UDF MP Dudu Murora called for abolishment of what he called a middleman seller for rural electricity distributors. I think it is very much important that we need to look at the rates also when we are talking about the writing off of electricity. Because the rates are in fact the elephant when it comes to the high bill of electricity of the local authorities. The Minister of Labor Relations, Industrialization and Employment Creation, Utoni Nuyoma, described electricity provision and charges as a global challenge which needs to be addressed henceforth. It's a good thing electricity, we should just say electricity has prevented growth in this country. The high tariffs, we need to have a look at it and see how we can move forward. Swapo Party veteran Jerry Kanjo also rose in support of the motion. Will it do any harm if the debt is written off and then we start from a new slate? Because with the local authorities, especially village councils, the debt just keep on increasing, 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 and there is no way it can be solved.